In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use circuit sticker LEDs and a tilt switch to add lighting and interactive effects to an illuminated tunnel book. Designed to create a sense of depth, perspective, and wonder, tunnel books are often engineered by layering decoratively cut paper panels between folded paper hinges, allowing them to move in and out like the bellows of an accordion. When combined with paper circuitry, adding light effects and sensors, a tunnel book can become a highly engaging steam project as well as a useful tool of self-expression. To make your own, you'll need a few key tools and supplies, including a tilt sensor and magnets, copper tape and conductive fabric tape, sticker LEDs, and a coin cell battery or two. Some of these supplies come packaged in our Craft with Light kit. You'll also need scotch or postal tape, adhesives of your choice, and other helpful tools, including a pencil, ruler, velcro dots, scissors, and a bone folder. For this demo, I'll be using 5x5 five five inch paper frames that I designed in Inkscape and cut with a Cricut machine. My SVG and circuit diagram are free to download. You can find the link in the description below. For the purpose of this tutorial, our primary focus will be on adding an interactive circuit to the back panel of a tunnel book, one that may be easily switched on and off with help from a tilt switch. You might find it useful to print the circuit diagram out twice, once on text weight paper to use as a visual reference, and a second time on a piece of cardstock, allowing you to cut out the pieces and adhere them directly to both sides of a piece of mat board or heavy paper. As a minimum, the battery holder flap should be constructed from sturdy paper. When getting ready to create the battery holder, use the template as a guide. Start by adhering a flat magnet directly on top of the battery holder template in the area that will become the negative lead of your circuit. Then flip it over and add glue to the back side before adhering it to the square labeled battery holder. Next, remove the protective backing from a piece of conductive fabric tape and begin adhering it to the top of the magnet and then flipping the circuit board over to its front side and continuing to lay down the negative trace until your circuit tape runs out. Flip the circuit board over and begin to lay down your positive lead. Before adhering your second magnet to the battery template, Begin your positive lead at the base of the circle, marking the location of the battery, using the circuit diagram as a guide. Then adhere the second magnet, topping it off with two pieces of conductive fabric tape in the shape of a plus sign. Use a bone folder or your fingernail to secure the circuit tape around the edges of the magnet. 
Then finish laying down your positive and negative traces using the circuit diagram as a guide. Make sure to leave a gap where the tilt switch will be placed. Once your conductive traces have been adhered, insert a battery negative side down into the holder. Next, place a temporary patch of conductive fabric tape over the gap where your tilt switch will be placed. This will allow you to see your LEDs light up as you place them on the front of your circuit board. Adhere your circuit sticker LEDs using the circuit diagram as a guide. If you're using your own tunnel book design, rather than the one I provided, you might find it useful to hold up your cut layers over the LEDs to ensure that they're placed correctly as you work. Once the LEDs are in place, flip the circuit board over to the back side and remove the temporary patch. Then take your tilt sensor and gently separate its legs. Since this device is not flat like the rest of the components you've been using, you'll need to hold the cylinder down with your hand and use a bone folder to flatten the legs down around it. Then use two pieces of conductive copper tape. Chibitronics copper tape has a conductive adhesive to secure the metal legs to the rest of the circuit on both sides of the switch gap. Then tilt the circuit board forward and back again to test your circuit. If necessary, add conductive fabric tape on top of your LEDs. Then, and this is super important when using a tilt sensor and delicate copper tape, reinforce the entire area around the sensor with packaging or scotch tape, pressing it down well with a bone folder. Ideally, the tilt sensor should be upright and the legs well connected to the circuit traces. Really press those legs down. In case you're wondering how this works, a typical tilt switch is a cylinder with two metal legs protruding from one end that contains a ball bearing inside. If the ball bearing rolls towards the legs and touches them both, this bridges a gap inside and closes the circuit. The next step is to fold and glue two hinges to your circuit board. Precision counts here, so do your best to ensure that your folds are straight and even. When adhering the hinges, the valley folds should be pointing inward.
Once your circuit has been completed, it's time to construct the tunnel book itself. Off camera, I add a double-sided tape to the front of a 5x5 five five inch square of glassine, which will be attached to the last layer of the tunnel book to help diffuse the light. Each layer of your tunnel book will be connected to a set of folded paper hinges. Precision counts, so if you make a mistake, it's a good idea to go back and fix it before moving forward. To keep your layers in the correct order while working, it's a good idea to number them on the back. Then starting with the back of the first layer, add hinges, just as you did with the circuit board. Line them up carefully with the top, bottom, and side edges, or you'll end up with a wobbly tunnel book. As you begin to glue the hinged layers together, ensure that there isn't any glue causing the hinges to stick closed.
When you get to the background layer, adhere a piece of glassine to the back of it to help diffuse the light and conceal the circuit. Then, to make your circuit board removable and interchangeable, you're going to add Velcro dots to the hinges of the circuit board and the book block. Before pressing down, do your best to align the circuit board with the book block. At this point, your tilt sensing illuminated tunnel book is complete. Tilt it to turn it off, tilt it again to turn it on. And if you want to, you can switch out the circuit in the back to change the effects. Experiment with different colors of light. You might even consider trying different colors of paper in your paper layers.